Well, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Uh, he who began with us is also ending with us. God is a faithful God, and he's our helper. He's our strength. Welcome to day number 40 of our 40 days of power. 40 days of waiting on the Lord, trusting in the Lord, praying, fasting, seeking the face of the Lord. And as we have sought for him, we have found him. He says, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. And I trust that your heart has been after the Lord and you have found him. You have found him to be faithful and to be true. So today we conclude one phase, but in our church, it's also a new beginning because from this evening, we start what we call our Greater Works Conference. And that's what all this prayer and fasting is leading to. And I trust that you follow us through the season of Greater Works. So throughout this week, I'm going to be sharing on things related to Greater Works because God wants to do great things with us and through us. So we go to a pivotal scripture in John's Gospel, chapter 14 and verse number 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. The unique thing about Jesus Christ is his sense of security. How many people can tell their disciples, their followers, you will do greater than me? Jesus Christ is not just about being one person who does great things, but he tells his disciples. And he's not just telling the disciples present at the time he's speaking. He's talking to all those who will come to believe in him. Thousands of years later, he says, I empower you to do greater works than me. What did Jesus mean when he says you will do greater works? First, it doesn't mean that we're going to be greater messiahs or greater saviors, or greater redeemers. That's not what he's saying. He's the only redeemer of mankind and the savior of mankind. When he says we'll do greater works than him, he doesn't mean that uh, he's not really talking about quality, but he's talking about quantity, multiplicity of miracles that uh, the disciples of Jesus would do. So cumulatively, all of us, as we believe in him and trust him, he does things with us and we add them together. They are more than what Jesus could do in his three years of ministry. But the greater works of the believer is not coming because we are powerful, because it is he who is working out in us. So in a sense, he's the one doing the greater works. We are not doing the greater works. He does the greater works. And as we hold that perspective, then we can expect Jesus to do far more, bigger, better, greater things with us because he's still at work in us and through us. And so he says whatever he did in his earthly ministry, he can do far more through us in this time. And if we can trust him and we can keep him at the center of our lives, then we can see him continuously working in our lives. The truth of Christianity is that Jesus who died rose again from the dead and lives forever. And the living Jesus is also a working Jesus. He works with us. He works through us and he performs the works of the Father through us. So in this season, may Christ Jesus work for you, through you, with you. And may he do greater things than you have ever envisaged. May you experience an anointing upon your life you've never experienced before. May you see his power that you've ever seen before. May you taste and see that the Lord, he is good. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you have done. Make my life an extension of your works. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. It's time to experience greater works for God. Thank you for joining us throughout these 40 days of power. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabil. Shalom, peace, and life to you.